right, so keep the knee rolling going. I am just going to bring up my cheat sheet, which is there. And we are going to start with our hundreds at level two. So come on and float one leg at a time, just one leg up, just one leg into that half tabletop position. You're going to pulse on my count. Ready, begin. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Come on and relax down. Let's do it on the other leg. Floating up, pulsing on my count, ready, begin. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five, out, two. We're going to go into one leg stretch at level two. So staying engaged through the core and the pelvic floor. Breath in to prepare as you exhale, float one leg up, exhale it out to 45. Inhale back in to hit that tabletop position, bringing it down. Switch to the other side. Keep it going with your breath. And look very much at that precise movement. We're really using these warm up movements to get those very precise movements, keeping the pelvis very, very still. Good, keep it going. One more each side. And float both arms up to the ceiling. We're going to do our double leg stretch at level two. Staying engaged through the core and the pelvic floor. Breath in to prepare as you exhale. Circle the arms, slide one leg away from you on the mat. Inhale, everything back together. Exhale, slide the other leg. Very nice. Keep it going with your breath. Make sure you're keeping the ribs down. You don't want the ribs to flare up and out as you take the arms over the head. Sliding the foot away as you exhale. One more each side. And hands onto the hips. We're going into hip twist at level one. Exhale, one knee out to the side. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, the other knee out. Inhale, back to the center. Take your time. Don't rush through these. Again, look at those precise movements. The other knee, the one that's not going out to the side, needs to be absolutely solid as you're doing these. So it shouldn't be kind of wavering around. That looks good. Use that exhale as the knee goes out to the side. One more each side. And come on and hold on to the back of one leg. Let's take that foot up and down towards the ceiling. Switch to the other side.
All right, making sure we're starting from our feet together position. Take your toes apart, heels join them. So we're now nicely aligned, the hips, knees and feet are all parallel. Engaging through the core of the pelvic floor, breath in to prepare the exhale, push your back flat into the mat, squeeze the glutes, heel the spine up away from the mat. And we're gonna inhale one vertebra at a time, coming back down. Keep going with your breath. Really using this movement to get that segmental motion. Rolling up and rolling down. That looks good. Nice. Roll down. Come on and hold on to the back of one leg. Let's take that foot up and down towards the ceiling again. Stretch out through the back of that leg. And switch to the other side. Very nice. Okay, we're going to go into hundreds. Now, you can choose, you can either hundreds in full tabletop, you can hundreds at level four, or you can do the breath, uh, breath out, head up, breath in, head down, or we can hundreds at level five. So whichever level you want to choose, come on up, float one leg at a time coming into your tabletop. One leg at a time carrying out. There we go. All right, and whatever level you're going to be at, you're going to pulse on my count. Ready, begin. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three. In two, three, keep going. So we're going to do scissors at level one. So start in Pilates resting position. So feet together, take the toes apart, heels join them. So we are hips, knees and feet nicely aligned. Hands are going to be on the brim of your pelvis. Tight through the core on the pelvic floor. Breath in to prepare as you exhale. We're going to float one leg up into our half tabletop position. Inhale it back down. Exhale the other leg up. Inhale back down. Again, just really look at the precision movement. When you get up into your half tabletop, is your hip at 90? Is your knee at 90? Just making sure you're really hitting that, that position every time. You don't want your knee to be, your, your hip to be too close. You, so you don't want your knee to be coming close to your chest. You're going to be at that 90 degree position. You don't want your foot to be kind of up towards the ceiling or down towards the floor. You want to be at that 90 degree position. So again, just be, be very precise with your motions. That looks good. All right, let's take it up into scissors at level two. So float one leg up, it's going to stay there. Deepen the contraction in the core as we float the other leg up. We're going to start in our full tabletop position. Hands are going to stay on your hips. Breath in to prepare as you exhale. The toes of one foot are just going to come down to the mat. Just touch and come back up. And then the other foot. Just touch and come back up. Again, really check the precise movement that you're doing here. So one leg is staying in that very nice 90-90 position. And the other leg, you're just touching the floor with the toes and then coming back up. Yeah. Looks good. All right, 
hug the knees to the chest and gentle rock from side to side. All right, so we're going to take this now into a new movement and it's a double scissors movement. So I'm going to show you because you're going to start in full tabletop. I want you to be very engaged through the core as you do this. As you exhale, the toes of both feet are coming down. And then we're going to come back up one leg at a time. So both feet go down together as you exhale. And then one leg at a time comes back up. Now, as you go down, you've got to be controlling this so your back is not arching. Keep it going. The underneath arm is out. Push that top hip down. We're engaged. Exhale to open. Inhale back to the center. Really feel that stretch. As you open that up. What do you get? All right, let's take it into our class at level one. So again, making sure you've got that little bit of waist space, exhale that knee to the ceiling, inhale back down. Again, check the precise, the preciseness of these movements. into level two. Same thing. Everything's coming from the hips, keeping the pelvis very stable, keeping the back very still. And rest. Come on and take the stretch. Breathing into it. And we're going to go into a side lift movement. So you're going to come on up and put your elbow on the floor underneath your shoulder. We want to still make sure that hips and heels are still aligned and we still want to push that top hip down. So you can see how I can kind of sink down into my shoulder and into my hip. You want to lift up through that. See how I'm kind of pushing away through my shoulder and the hip is down. Then we're going to engage here through our core and pelvic floor. Breath in to prepare as you exhale, we're going to lift our hips up. And then back down. Good. Now this time we're going to stay up and now we're going to climb from here. That's good. Exhale out of the arm. And rest down and take the stretch again. Breathing into it.
All right, now come on back up again. So we're gonna be on our elbow. Again, pushing away through the shoulder. And this time the legs are gonna be out straight. Now for this one, if you wanna rest your hands just in front of you, because we're gonna push through the shoulder, we're gonna lift the hips up so we're on our feet. So we're gonna exhale up. Inhale down. Good. Stay up, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest down. Whew. Come on to the other side. Everyone doing okay? You're right, Vicky. Yeah. If it's, if it's too much, just take it down a notch. It's okay. You know, yeah, yeah. All right, let's start with our arm opening. So again, level one, pushing the hip down. We're gonna draw our rainbows. Feel that stretch. Let's take it into our clams at level one. Exhale that knee to the ceiling, inhale back down. And take it up to level two. Take the stretch. Breathing into it. All right, so come on up onto your elbow. Hips and heels staying aligned but making sure we're pushing that top hip down and we're really lifting up through the shoulder. Think about your shoulder blades sort of pulling together behind you. That's gonna engage those lower traps. Breath in to prepare. Now as you exhale, we're just gonna lift and lower. Now stay up and we're going to climb from here. Good. And rest down, take the stretch. Breathing into it.
All right, come on back up again. And this time we're going to have the legs out straight. Hand is going to be in front of you, still pushing that top hip down, pushing up through your shoulder. Breath in to prepare as you exhale, we're going to lift and inhale down. One foot over the opposite knee, push that knee out to the side, feel the stretch through the front of the hip. When you're ready and if it's comfortable, let's bring it in. to the other side, push the knee out to the side, keeping it comfortable when you're ready, lift it up. to your belly so you're going to lie on your front legs out straight behind you hands are going to be underneath the shoulders now it's okay for your feet to be a little bit apart i want your toes to be kind of pointing in together and your, your heels to be pressed out to the side so imagine your toes are touching and your heels just come apart that's, what, that's where you want to be. Hands are going to be under your shoulders. Tight through the core and the pelvic floor. Breath in to prepare the exhale. You're going to push up into a cobra stretch. Very nice. And inhale back down. Keep going with your breath. Exhale up. Good. Inhale back down. Very nice. Keep it going. Pelvis doesn't move, 
spine doesn't move, it's just the arms. to our hands and knees and swimming at level four. Opposite arm and leg yeah. reach. With your breath. Very nice. Looks good. Now, from your hands and knees position, we're going to do push ups. So you can either do them in this position or you can take your hands forwards a little bit. So you're more of sort of a leaning position wherever you want to go, but your nose needs to touch the mat in between your hands. So whether it's here, nose is coming down to the mat, or even if you're forwards a little bit, nose is to the mat. Good. Pipe through the core. Very nice. All right, come on and sit. Now, again, we're going to do a, a new one. We're going to do one called Mermaid. So you're going to sit kind of to the side like this. So both legs are going to be to one side. Now, ideally, 
The leg in front is at 90 degrees, and then you have the other leg to the side in a similar kind of position. Now, if that is not comfortable for your knees, feel free to be in this position if that is more comfortable. It does put a little bit of a stretch on the knees. So from here, we're gonna take a breath in to prepare. As we exhale, we're gonna come all the way up and over for a stretch. Inhale, back up. And then we're gonna go the other way. And back up, and again. Try and sink a little lower each time. Back you go. One more each way. Very nice. And then come on and switch your legs. Good. Breath in to prepare. We exhale. Over we go. And on the other way. you're a little tighter on one side than the other and definitely tighter on this side for sure and rest all right whilst we're sitting we're gonna keep one leg in other leg is gonna be out let's reach for the toes and just breathing into that stretch Very nice. All right, so come on and sit with both feet in front of you. And we're going to take our toes apart, heels join them. So hips, knees and feet are all nice and parallel. Piece of string attached to the top of your head is going to lift you up to the ceiling. So we're in there through our core and pelvic floor. We're going to hold on to the back of our thighs. As we exhale, we're going to round our spine just as far as our arms will let us go. And then we're going to bring it forwards, round it, and then roll up from the pelvis. So the pelvis and the lower spine comes up first, head is last thing. Breath in at the top, exhale, let's round back. Bringing it forwards, rolling up from the pelvis and the low back, head comes up last. Let's go again. Good. Again, this is all about trying to get that segmental articulation through the spine. Vertebrae by vertebrae, very nice. We're going to do two more movements.
Very nice. Now, make sure you have space behind you because we're gonna roll all the way down this time. So I'm just gonna move forwards just a little bit. So we're gonna take our hands away from our legs. We're gonna roll all the way down. So vertebrae by vertebrae, you're gonna come all the way down. Arms are gonna go over your head. Breath in, and then we're gonna roll back up. Vertebrae by vertebrae, and come all the way sitting back up again. Knees are gonna stay bent for this. Let's go again. All the way down, arms up. Inhale at the top, exhale, come up again. To lift. Very nice, good. Keep it going, keep it going. That is great, Pat. Good job. Keep it going with your breath. Really feel your spine segment by segment as you roll down and segment by segment as you roll up. That's it. Good. Going with your breath. Two more movements. One leg in, one leg out. Let's stretch through the hamstrings again. Breathing into that stretch. And switch to the other leg. So we have one more movement to do, and this is optional, okay? So it's entirely up to you. So I'm gonna show you first of all, it's rolling like a ball. So again, you've gotta make sure there's enough space behind you, because you are gonna roll backwards. You're gonna hold onto the front of your knees here. You're tight, you switched on the whole time. We're gonna roll back, and come all the way back up again. Did I make it look easy? <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. Super easy, very nice. All right, if that is too easy, no hands on the legs. So the arms are gonna be by the sides. Very nice. All right, when you come up, you're gonna try and balance without your feet touching the mat. Very nice, keep it going, this is great. one to do but you all made it look super easy so that was fab well done everyone and switch to the other leg all 
All right, let's do our hip flexor stretch. You can either do this standing or kneeling. So either one knee on the mat, one foot on the mat, and you're gonna lunge forwards, or you can do it in standing, whichever is more comfortable. Breathing into it. Again, we did quite a lot in tabletop, so really stretching out through that hip flexor. And switch to the other leg. Keeping the shoulders up, nice. Breathing into it. with your feet completely together, take your toes apart, heels join them, piece of string is attached to the top of your head and lifting you up to the ceiling, breath in to prepare as you exhale, let's roll down, chin on chest, tight through the core as you inhale back up, making sure the pelvis comes up first, then one vertebrae at a time, and exhale forwards again. One more time. And we're going to take a deep breath in. And out. In. And out. One more time. And happy Friday, everybody. Well done.